I want to welcome Lena Zane. Her course is The History and Teachings of the Baha'i Faith. It will be on March 21st, and she will be teaching via Zoom. ALL welcomes Dr. Zane back to the spring term. I just learned a fun fact about Lena. She grew up in Lebanon and was a Girl Scout. She loved camping and she brought that love of camping to the Olympic Peninsula, just as she has brought her love of studying religious thought to ALL. Her students on a consistent basis describe her as very knowledgeable, extremely engaging, and full of research. Her students love her. Welcome, Lino. Thank you, Michu, for doing this, and thank you, Athena, for being the tech person. Well, as Michu said, this is an introduction to the Baha'i Faith, and uh, all three classes will be again in March 21, 23, 25. The Baha'i faith is one of the most widespread and rapidly growing religions today. Over three sessions, this class will introduce you to its history and teachings. The Baha'i faith was revealed in Iran in the 19th century by Baha'u'llah, which means the glory of God in Arabic. He was born in 1817 and passed away in 1892. In spite of the opposition he faced, by the Persian Muslim clergy and the political authorities, even then and now, his teachings have spread to all four corners of the earth. We will cover the historical background and religious climate in the East and the West in the 1800s, which sets the stage for the birth and ministry of this faith. We will take a closer look at the teachings and principles given by Baha'u'llah, whom Baha'is around the world regard as the messenger of God for this day. His teachings caused Baha'u'llah's imprisonment by the Persian authorities and subsequent exile to Baghdad, where he announced his new revelation in 1863. In response to his teachings and call to the world's leaders, he was further exiled to the Holy Land to be imprisoned in the citadel in Akka, Palestine for 40 years. We will look briefly at the succession to his leadership. The Baha'i faith has no clergy, so we will cover the democratic administration of the affairs of the faith at the local, national, and international level. The Baha'i faith teaches the essential worth of all religions and the unity of all people, openly rejecting notions of racism and nationalism. This class will introduce participants to a thoroughly inclusive religion which accepts the divinity and sanctity of all faiths. Its basic teachings, such as the oneness of God and the oneness of humanity, spur Baha'is to strive towards the ultimate goal of equality, justice, and world peace for all mankind. We will spend some time looking at the spiritual and temporal teachings of the faith, principles such as equality of men and women, education for all, harmony of science and religion, abolishment of prejudice, and personal spiritual responsibilities such as prayer, fasting, and trustworthiness. And finally, we will look at the national and international activities of the Baha'i community today. The faith is represented as an NGO at the UN. Baha'i's houses of worship are found on all continents and dedicated to all mankind. Also, members are involved in social action and community building. All activities which take place in neighborhoods, cities, and villages all over the world are based on study, service, and dedication to humanity, and they welcome children, youth, and adults from all faiths to participate. I invite you to register for this class and discover something new. Thank you.